One of the shots that a lot of you may have trouble with is the dreaded buried lie. You hit a shot in the bunker, you go, oh my gosh, I hope that ball didn't bury. And as you walk up to it, of course, the first thing all golfers do, you're always checking your lie. What kind of lie do I have determines what kind of shot I'm gonna hit. When I have this buried kind of lie, now again, a goal is to make sure you get it out and on the green in one shot. But knowing this buried ball is gonna react a little different to a ball that's laying on top of the sand. This ball, I'm gonna to have to use a little, a little different technique where I'm gonna keep the blade very square at address. I'm not gonna open the blade, very square. And I'm gonna take the club up. Uh, I'm maybe gonna play this ball a little bit more in the middle of my stance. And I'm gonna take the club up a little bit more abruptly. And I'm gonna drop the club behind the ball, making sure that I'm gonna dig it out. And when it hits the green, it's gonna hit with more release. It's not gonna have any check, it's gonna hit and release. I'll try to demonstrate one for you right here. So you can see how that ball really released and ran out. Another thing to think about when you're gonna hit a buried lie, because you could tell I swung at it pretty hard. There was a lot of power there, but you really got to make sure you work your feet into the sand so you've got a good sturdy base because when you're swinging harder at it, you sure don't want one of your stance to, to slide or do anything. You want to stay right over the top of the ball, pick this ball, pick the club up, and be able to drive down behind the ball. It's going to come out with more run on it. So with this Harry Taylor designed wedge, with this sole design, it's for sure not just for a nice fluffy lie right up on top of the sand. That was a very difficult lie there, but it's still the way this is designed with the bounce configuration. I was able to pick the club up abruptly, get the club down, dig down into the sand so I could get this ball up and going. So th this design is built for all different types of sand shots that you're going to be faced with in a round of golf.